Boys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Christian Wood and why he's about to break the NBA. I appreciate you guys for showing the support yesterday in the video, man. We racked up, I think, like 1,500 views, 60-something comments, and man, I'm really grateful for that, guys. So we're making another Rockets video today talking about Christian Wood and why he's about to break the NBA. Now, I've been reading a lot of articles, way more than you would think, on why the Rockets need to capitalize on Christian Wood's value right now and trade him. And although I'm not totally against this, just because even with Christian Wood breaking out next season, this Rockets team isn't very good i mean yes they could destroy the draft and get a top four pick those picks in the 20s the of course milwaukee and portland picks those could turn into stars like quickly halliburton type players but even if so i mean the rockets to win a championship they're still multiple pieces away i mean they need to clear salary they need to clear eric gordon and jawas contract they need to get younger so like kate cunningham a couple of other studs maybe go out in free agency and grab a guy like i don't know serge Ibaka or john collins like something along those lines but even then like the rockets are still years away so by then christian wood will be going into a new contract he's gonna get a max he'll be 27 do you want to pay christian wood all that money so i i get that but also we have to remember that this season christian wood is averaging 21 points per game 10 rebounds 1.5 assist and he's shooting 52 percent from the field and 38 from three he does need to work on his free throw percentage and we have to remember before the injury he was up around 54 55 percent and he was actually shooting 42 ish 43 percent from three he was having an incredible season of course we know about his defense he's not the best rim protector but again he has so much room to grow he's averaging 1.2 blocks a game and a steal so he's playing good defense he just needs to work on getting himself more stronger and also his playmaking ability 1.5 assist i know christian wood can do better than that i'm not saying he needs to be like nikola Jokic, but he definitely needs to be averaging around three or four assists i mean look at a guy like julius randall now he passes the basketball he'll drive and kick it to an open corner three ball like reggie Bullock, who just hit three threes in a row i'm watching the Knicks game right now against the raptors but the reason why i think christian wood will actually break the nba is just because this season he seems like raw right like we know wood's been on five six different teams he was undrafted all this stuff a lot of teams gave up on him like the pelicans when they traded obviously anthony davis and they got all those players back from the lakers they didn't have a roster spot so they ended up just cutting christian wood so christian wood literally just got cut like he was nothing and now he's a legit all-star player so i'm looking at christian wood now he's averaging 21 and 10 to go with a block and a steal a game he's shooting 38 from three of course 52 from the field what is he going to do when he actually puts on muscle? I mean, this is a guy that definitely needs to get stronger so that he can start bullying more guys. I mean, not to the sense where he's going to lose his speed, but if he can become Giannis Antetokounmpo, which is completely possible because right now, I think Christian Wood is just as skilled as Giannis. I mean, he's a much better shooter. He can score the basketball. Obviously, he doesn't have the athleticism as Giannis or the strength, but if he puts on that type of strength and works hard this offseason, I mean, what is Christian Wood really going to do? It's just going to be ridiculous. I mean, take a look at some of Christian Wood's last game. So obviously april 23rd against the clippers last night he had 24 points and 19 rebounds to go with two assists did shoot eight of 22 from the field against utah he had 16 points and eight rebounds miami 18 points and seven rebounds 25 points against orlando and 10 rebounds to go with three assists and against denver did struggle 15 points 5 10 shooting though and three boards 25 and 13 against indiana 25 and 15 against phoenix 18 and 7 against Golden State, 23 and 3 against the Clippers, 22 and 10 against Dallas. You guys can see there's some really good games in there, but then there's also some games that are like, that's not going to get it done. So I think Christian Wood needs to take the next step. He needs to be more aggressive, needs to look for a shot, needs to dominate the backboard. It's not even about getting your rebounds and being like, yo, I average 12 rebounds a game. No, actually, getting those rebounds helps your team win games. I mean, you look at a guy again, like Russell Westbrook or Julius Randle, if you want someone that plays the same position. I mean, these guys are rebounding the basketball. Randle's getting triple doubles. I mean, He's just, he's having an incredible season. I think if Christian Wood can just become that type of player where he can actually single-handedly lead a team to wins, then the Rockets are going to be in an incredible position because if they get Cade Cunningham and they still have Kevin Porter Jr. and Jay Sean Tate, KJ Martin, a ton of money in free agency, I mean, the Rockets are actually going to have an incredible future, but they need to get one, Christian Wood has to do that. So every night he can't be having games like 15 points on five of 10 shooting, 18 points on eight of 14. Are those efficient? Yes, but you have to be taking more than 15, 14 shots, 10 shots if I'm Christian Wood. I mean, you need to be shooting up in that 20 range, 20, 23 range. If I'm Wood, man, I'm going to put this team on my back and lead them some wins. I mean, this season, this roster isn't great. I haven't been the biggest fan of Coach Steven Silas. I don't think he's a bad coach, but he hasn't shown me like much. Like He's not Tom Thibodeau, for example. I mean, Tom Thibodeau has completely changed in the Knicks culture. Steven Silas deserves another year with a fully healthy roster. And obviously, like the whole James Harden situation was just devastating, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, it's going to be really interesting, man. I think the Rockets are 
they're really destined for greatness. I mean, I really think this team will be competing for championships in five years from now. I mean, I'm not saying in two years that there's no way, but five years, I think the Rockets will be competing for championships and they'll also have the Brooklyn Nets picks, assuming that that big three splits apart or something like that, So, which is definitely possible. So, would have loved another star next to Wood. I mean, right now, Kevin Porter Jr. is not a star. I mean, he's a future star. There's a difference. Christian Wood is a star. John Wall, some nights is a star and some nights I don't even recognize him. So, honestly, I think John Wall is going to have to be moved, whether it's a buyout or a trade, because he doesn't fit in with the time frame. Obviously... His play style is, is nice. I mean, last night, John Wall looked like the old John Wall. He had an incredible game. It was a vintage John Wall night. But for a guy that doesn't play back to backs and that's making $42 million annually on a young rebuilding team that's trying to get younger, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But that's just my honest opinion. But for Christian Wood, I really think that he's going to break out and break the NBA. I mean, Giannis completely broke the NBA. I think Christian Wood's on the same path, man. I really do. I think if Wood can just add strength and some more playmaking ability, Next season, he can lead the Rockets single-handedly to the playoffs. I think they would be a quick exit in the playoffs, and not necessarily like it wouldn't be like a, a they wouldn't get swept in the first round. But I think they'd probably get knocked out in the first round. But I mean, this season alone, I think I thought Christian Wood was going to do that. I mean, the Rockets were the A seed at one point. Christian Wood was playing legit like an all-star. He was putting up ridiculous numbers. Then injuries started to happen, and it really derailed the team. But next season, with a fresh start, Silas another opportunity, Kevin Porter Jr. taking another step. Some picks whether it be top four or the heats pick whatever picks they get they're getting three first round picks in the first round i think there's going to be a lot more talent even as rookies i mean that's that's still more talent than the rockets have now hopefully sterling brown can get healthy dave and the waba i mean overall this team should be really fun to watch jayshon tate's going to take another step he's been incredible for them but for christian woodman you're 610 with a 7-3 wingspan you honest obviously no one can stop you one-on-one because -on -one you can shoot over them or you can blow right by them but he definitely just needs to take the next step man i mean i know he was an all-star and was great but can he take that next step from star to superstar? And if he does that, the Rockets are in a great position to win. And I'm really excited for that, guys. Let me know down in the comment section here, uh, below your thoughts on Christian Wood. Do you think he can take the next step and become a superstar? I mean, I don't think anyone's doubting if Christian Wood can. But is he that type of dude that can lead you as the best player, the second best player to a championship? And right now, I mean, I I'm going to say no. But if the Rockets end up getting Evan Mobley, or Kate Cunningham, and they turn into a superstar, then now you have Kevin Porter Jr., Christian Wood, and you have Jay Shante, a ton of salary. Uh, obviously, you have a couple more picks, the Nets picks that you could work with, the Milwaukee's pick. So, like, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see what the Rockets do. But, honestly, I'm just really happy for them. I'm happy to, to be a part of it to see what this team is going to do. Covering them is going to be so much fun just because they can go so many routes. They can stay with veterans, and they can stay with these young guys and mix them in and try to make a playoff push. Or they can just get younger. Maybe next season they, they won't be ch competing for a championship, but they'll still have their pick. So I don't think that will happen because there's just too much talent. If you get Cade, obviously you get Kevin Porter Jr. and Christian Wood. I just don't see how that team can tank for a pick. I mean, that they'd be too good, too talented. But we'll see, man. I'm really excited for free agency. I mean, I think the draft and free agency are both going to be really just as much fun. I mean, I know the draft gets a lot of Rocket fans excited, but free agency is going to be big as well because this team has a ton of salary, or at least has the potential. For a ton of salary. I mean, if they move Eric Gordon, that opens up a max free agency slot. DeMar DeRozan, question mark? I'm out, guys. Have a good night, man. Peace.